That evening, when the lumberjacks returned to camp, it was the camp boss and not Ryan who met them. The aroma of meat stew wafted through the air. The camp boss told the crew that some supplies had been brought in by a messenger who had come to call Ryan home to tend his dying mother. What the crew didn't know was that the camp boss had butchered Ryan and cooked his flesh into the stew that they were devouring with such pleasure. Later that night, the men were awakened by a horrible whooping sound coming from outside their cabin. That was the first time the unearthly hoops were heard. It was a sound that would torment the crew boss for years. As the stories about the hooper spread, loggers refused to go anywhere near the area. One day, many years later, when this was one of the few remaining areas left to be logged, a lumberjack came across some bones an animal had dug up. They were human bones. And since the only person to have gone missing in the area was the young cook, Ryan Garvin, it was concluded they were his remains. Everyone thought that if the remains were given a proper burial, the awful hooping might stop. The logging company, wanting to end the superstition, brought in a priest to perform the rites. But the hooping did not stop. Indeed, it may have gotten worse. Grant them eternal rest, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Well, my grandfather was a logger for many years, and he used to tell us some pretty crazy stories, but the craziest would probably have to be about the Dungarvan Hooper. Well, the story starts off way back in the day with my grandfather playing some cards and having a few drinks with some fellow loggers of his, and he's losing badly to a rowdy drunk from Alberta, when all of a sudden they heard a loud hoop come from outside. So when they hear this noise getting louder and louder, trying to figure out what the hooping is, everyone's scared, except for this loud, obnoxious guy. What's this? It's the hooper. The what? The Dungarvan hooper. You never heard of the Dungarvan hooper? You heard of the hooper? No, I never heard of the hooper. This is the young camp cook, Ryan. He was killed back in the 1800s by his crew boss. He still haunts the woods in this camp all around this area. And that's what that noise is supposed to be? Making yes, noise. that's him right now. Right, that was him now. Yes, that you, was him. And you guys believe that yeah. foolishness, do you? Oh, gosh. The noise is so loud, it seems like it's right outside the door. So this loud, obnoxious guy, he figured, well, hey, you guys are all afraid of it. I'm going to go right outside and figure out what it is. So he just grabbed his whiskey bottle and heads out the door. He's still calling them all chickens, there we are. and he's even making Come fun on, of the hooping yes, noise. He's just yelling on. back, just hooping at it. Come. Yeah. Come on out, guys. Come on. we got to find the whooper. Come on. Yeah, bunch of chickens. Come on. Whoop. Whoop. Come on, guys. Whoop. 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 And he's just venturing off darker and darker, and he's still hooping. And then all of a sudden the hooping stops. And he hasn't been seen since. So as the noise ends, everyone inside the cabin's trying to figure out, well, where's this loud, obnoxious guy? He just he just disappears like that. So they want to venture outside, but they didn't want to go too far. They didn't want to venture off into the woods because they don't even know where this hooping sound's coming from. 
So they waited till the next morning to figure out where their friend went to. And they ventured off outside into the daylight and they found nothing. They found nothing at all. Except for his whiskey bottle. And still to this day, my grandfather swears that that night, that was the Dungarvan Hooper, that was Hoopin. He swears that that's what it was that everyone was afraid of. And that's how his friend disappeared. And still to this day, he will never go back there day or night. What is it that the Dungarvan Hooper wants from those who hear his cries? Revenge? Justice? Or is his hooping a reminder to those who venture into the backwoods of New Brunswick of how far some might go for the taste of flesh, even human flesh. Those were just some of the stories from Creepy Canada's Ghost Files. Join us next time for more. I'm Brian O'Day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>